Did I do it right? Can't even see my outfit. I could really use a cup of coffee right now. And welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Kaylee, and this is a vlog about my postpartum wellness journey. If you need to be caught up to speed, you can watch the very first episode here, talking about what I'm doing and why I'm doing what I'm doing. This week, I'm just going to be doing a full day of eating. I've included a couple of new recipes for you guys. I'm super excited about sharing them with you. I've, I've got a small batch cookie recipe that me and Brad love. It's protein packed, super great, great for curbing your sweet tooth and low sugar. Also sharing a protein ice cafe mocha, my favorite post-workout right now. So we're officially four weeks into my training. It's going really well. It took me about three weeks to kind of finagle things around and work out the kinks, but I've gotten into a rhythm and it seems to be working. I also am doing a physique update in this week's episode. Honestly, I was really nervous about doing a four week physique update just because I've looked in the mirror and I've weighed myself and my weight actually hasn't changed at all in four weeks. Um, and I really haven't seen much of a change myself until I put the two videos together. And I was actually pretty shocked at the changes that are pretty visible now. It's encouraging to know that my body composition is changing and it's a great reminder that the scale does not always measure progress. So like I said, I weigh the exact same weight that I did when I started, like literally no change at all, but there is significant change that you can see in my physique. So later on in the video, I'll do a physique update and you can see the first week's video. So four weeks ago, week one, um, that video, and then I did a side by side with week four. So I'm really excited to share that with you this week as well. So basically we're just gonna be doing a full day of eating sharing what I'm eating. I'm including all of my macros, all that good stuff so you can see everything that I'm doing. This is not for comparison. Please, as always, just a little disclaimer, do not get caught up what I am eating or the amount that I'm eating. I'm sharing it just to be completely transparent with you all throughout this year long process. Everything is based off of my physical stats. I'm a certified nutritionist. I have my degree in nutrition and food science. So I calculated these numbers based upon my body fat percentage, as well as my height, weight, activity level, all that stuff. So it is all tailored specifically to to me. So please, please, please do not think that this calorie amount or these macronutrient splits are exactly what your body needs. What works for me may not work for you. I always like to preface these full day of eating videos with that in mind, just to remind you that you are unique and beautiful in your own special way. I am unique and beautiful in my own special way. And what works for me works for me and may not work for you. So I think that covers everything in this intro. So let's get into my day. Good morning and happy Monday, everybody. So it is 5.30. I'm getting up a little later than normal. Bennett is going through a developmental leap and he's teething. So he was up a couple times last night, so I'm pretty tired. But I'm going to pump, do my quiet time. I've got some work that I need to do. So I'm going to do that on my computer this morning in lieu of working out. But I will work out later today. So let's get this day started. <laughs> pre-workout meal. I'm just going to make some egg whites and potatoes and then I'm going to go into the garage and get after it. Workout. It's 1046. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I am dragging right now. So normally I get my workouts done first thing and I'm able to like buzz through it because I've just had my coffee, all this stuff. But honestly, I'm still breastfeeding so I'm trying to limit my caffeine intake. So I could really use a cup of coffee right now, but I'm not going to, I'm just gonna kind of power through this. So we're gonna start off with my power program. Today I'm doing back squat, deadlift and uh, shoulder press. So those are the three movements I'm gonna work on. My time is limited, so I'm gonna try to get through this fast, but without you know pushing it so fast that I don't have ample time to warm up in between sets. So I'm gonna be warming up to a five rep max for each lift and then doing three sets of five reps. 
resting three minutes in between each set. So that's how I've been doing my power program. It's really working. So I'm anxious to see how everything, you know, goes today if I've gone up in any of my lifts. That's going to be the first thing we're going to do. And then if I still have time before Bennett gets up at 12, I'm going to do the um, Metcon today. I think it's an EMOM. So every minute on the minute, I'll have to look at it again, but I'll uh, reiterate and kind of explain that next after I get through this lift here. One thing I do want to quickly address is I probably will take my shirt off during this workout. I used to be really, really self-conscious about like my body and not having like a super flat stomach and, you know, sharing that with the world. Like I've always been super self-conscious about my body. And so now I'm really thankful for the body that I have. Like it's taken me many years. I've mentioned this on my Instagram a bunch of times. Um, and I've had, you know, a past with disordered eating and just really unhealthy health practices. So I'm finally comfortable in my own skin and I may not be like super ripped or toned and I might have like a jiggly, you know, gooey belly, but like, I'm so thankful for the gift of movement and the fact that I have the ability to move my body the way that I do. So I'm just like not ashamed of it anymore. And plus, how cool is it to watch your body change in front of your eyes? So like seeing, looking back on these videos in a year from now, being able to see like where I've come from. So that's why I take my shirt off, not to be sexy, not to, you know, say, oh, look at me, but just like to celebrate the fact that like I have enough confidence to do so um, and to celebrate the fact that I have a body that's able to move the way that it does. And also just to be able to see the progress and the changes in my physique over this next year. I just wanted to address that because I know I always look at other women on YouTube and have body envy and feel jealous that like my body doesn't look like that. But I just, I don't feel like that anymore. And it's taken years to get here and I'm really proud of this place that I'm in. So I just figured I would share that on here because that's what we're here for, you know, learning, growing and doing this journey together. So that's part of it is gaining self-confidence and loving the skin that you're in. So. All right, so as you can see, I warmed up with my weight for back squat. I'm at 185 right now with what I have on the bar. So um, the program says go up five pounds every session like so every day that you do this go up five pounds so like the next time I lift go up five more pounds meaning like go up to like 190 honestly I feel like 185 is a struggle today I feel like I'm really having to be conscious of my form and really sh I'm struggling through the reps so instead of going up I'm gonna keep the same if I feel like my form is starting to get sacrificed I'm gonna take some weight off because form is everything with these lifts that's how you strengthen yourself yes putting on weight is important but you really, it doesn't matter if your form is shot to crap. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna stay at 185. If I feel the need to, take, to go down in weight, I will. Um, but right now 185 feels okay. It's hard, It's I'm struggling through it, but I'm just gonna push myself. So I just did my first set of five reps and I have two more sets of that. So I'm gonna rest and then I'll get back on it. Um, and then we'll move into shoulder press. hit a new PR today on shoulder press. Honestly, I was stuck at 75 for like two weeks. So I just did 85. I feel so good about it. So 85 pounds shoulder press is one of my worst lifts. I'm about to do deadlifts. It's my other worst lift. I'm not very good at them. So I'm about to move into deadlift. My max on deadlift last time was 115. So I'm, I want to be able to deadlift like 200 pounds. Like that's the goal. Obviously not gonna happen today, but we'll see. So I'm gonna move to the driveway because it's beautiful outside. I wanna get some sun and move into deadlifts. So I just PR'd on my deadlift. I'm really excited. So I just did 135 for three sets of five reps and it felt really good. So super pumped. I've been stuck at like 115. So really, really excited about that victory. So I'm about to do the workout of the day, the wad. It is awful. It's 25 power cleans and 50 air squats. It's an EMOM. So you have five minutes to complete that. And then you rest the remainder of the five minutes. And you do this for 20 minutes. So it's four rounds. So for 20 minutes, every five minutes, you're supposed to do 25 power cleans and 50 air squats. 
So wish me luck, we're about to do this. Oh, and it's at 65 pounds for women. Could be 55 pounds, but I have a 45 pound bar and 10 pound bumper plate, so 65. So we'll see how it goes, but <laughs> wish me luck. All right, so that was awful, but I did it. I'm gonna go take a breather, get some water, and then get the baby up, so victory. Before I go get the baby up, I wanted to share my current favorite post-workout. It's just a protein iced coffee, so I just used some cold brew coffee, some Nut Pods creamer. This stuff is my jam. I'm not uh, one to put creamer in my coffee, but in my iced coffee, I've just gotta have a little bit of that in there. But this is a perfect alternative if you're trying to cut back on the processed creamers. And then I use a scoop of my favorite protein powder, currently obsessed with the vegan protein powders from First Form, not sponsored by them. I wish I was, but oh my gosh, so good. And then I just blend it up and drink it. I've linked everything in the description box for you below. What are you doing? I'm about to get in the shower, but before I do, I'm gonna do a physique update. Like I said, I wanna share all of this with you guys. So it's been four weeks. I really don't see much of a difference, but it's just the first four weeks. So we're gonna do a physique update because I told you guys every four weeks we're doing one. So here we go. Where is your child? I just saw you get him up from a nap. He's actually in his walker, sitting right outside the door, just hanging out, playing with some toys. Normally, I try to get my shower and get myself together before he even gets up from a nap, but like I said, today has been totally different. It's like opposite day, so I ended up having to stick him in his walker um, and get ready, but that's kind of the reality of motherhood. It's not always you know, perfect, and your routine isn't always the same, so I'm just getting ready. I'm sharing kind of how I get ready every day. Obviously, did not wash my hair 
dryer today just because it dries it out if I wash it too often. So I am a twice a week kind of hair wash gal. So it is not a hair wash day. So dry shampoo is gonna be on our side. But I've linked all of my products below. I just, for time's sake, didn't show in full detail um, my routine just because I feel like it was getting lengthy and I didn't want this vlog to be too long. But if that's something you guys are interested in, seeing my daytime skincare routine and nighttime skincare routine, just let me know in the comments below and I can maybe do a vlog about that. I absolutely love my skincare routine. It's something that I started a little over a year ago, getting really serious about taking care of my skin. I am still pretty young. I'm in my 20s, but I know that wrinkle prevention is a must. And I have a really good friend who's a fabulous makeup artist and she always has amazing glowing skin. So I just followed her on Instagram, Black Lotus Makeup, and honestly got all of my um, makeup tips and my skincare routine from her. And so I just have been doing exactly what my friend Tori does and it has made a world of difference. So I have a uh, daytime and a nighttime routine that I follow religiously. So like I said, if that's something you guys want to see, just let me know. Uh, otherwise, I have linked all of my skincare products as well as my makeup in the description box below. I've also noted like what each thing is used for um, so you can see why I'm using what I'm using but I usually just throw on a quick little face of makeup just to make myself feel better I don't know I just love putting on makeup it's really fun and it just makes me feel better so I do it usually every day there are definitely days where it doesn't happen and that's fine too but I just feel way more productive once I have myself together so now that my makeup is done I'm gonna just quickly fix my hair I dry shampooed it off camera and then I took my blow dryer and just uh, blew my roots dry. So now I'm just going to kind of like French braid the top of it. Um, there's really no special way. I'm just going to do like a sloppy bun on top or a messy bun half up half down do. I don't even know what you call this. I just kind of made this up one day and I liked it so I kept doing it. But basically you're just going to kind of start out in French braid as best as you can and then take a hair tie and twist that bun and then you can even bobby pin the bun down a little bit if you want to position it but it's honestly supposed to look messy and then I just take my curling iron and just go over some of my curls. My hair is naturally curly so this will hold for a couple of days and I just want it to look relaxed so I run my fingers through my hair and then spray everything with a little bit of light hairspray and I'm ready for the day. Bennett is up from his nap. He's ready to go. We are about to run some errands. So I will take you guys with us on our little adventure. So let's go. Grocery shopping was a success. Bennett did great, so glad. Also wanted to share this and I'll link it below. This is the cart cover that we have love it. It's got like little toys attached to it. It's super easy, easy to put up. So I'll definitely link this below for you guys. So now we're going to go do our target pickup and then head home before nap time. So we're home from the store. Bennett was freaking out. He's hungry. So I'm feeding him um, sweet potato puree with chicken. I'm eating a hard boiled egg and I also have some broccoli. So we're eating and then I'll unload the groceries, put him down for a nap and keep going, trucking along with the day. Ah, nice. Good job. Bennett is down for his last nap of the day, so I've got to tidy up around this house. It's a mess. I gotta finish unpacking groceries, do some work on my computer, get some editing done, but I'm about to pause and eat lunch, so I'll share with you guys what I'm eating. So it's really simple. I just change things up. Normally I do like a baked sweet potato or, you know, cubed roasted sweet potatoes, but I decided to do like a chipotle sweet potato mash. So all I did was make a bunch of sweet potatoes in my oven, baked them like I normally would a baked potato. And then I mashed them up, added just a little bit of cayenne pepper, some chili powder and some smoked paprika. And they're so good. And then I also have some spicy grilled chicken and green beans. So I'll give you guys like an overview so you can see exactly what it is, but it's super delicious, super filling, great way to change up my normal, you know, chicken, sweet potato, broccoli, whatever, brown rice. So this week's food has been so much more enjoyable and I've actually like looked forward to my meal. So yeah, but I'm going to grab this bite to eat really quick and keep trucking along through my day. 
it's about 7 30 i just put bennett down from bed so he should be good for the rest of the night i'm going to go in the kitchen and get some dinner squared away normally i meal prep dinners for brad and i as well just because his schedule is so random and crazy some nights he flies some nights he doesn't so i never know when he's going to be home so tonight i'm just making myself a salmon salad um but i'm going to go quickly and make this salad it's super delicious i'll show you how to make it something so simple easy filling i definitely want to make sure i say i'm eating a salad because i want to eat a salad not because i'm concerned about the carbohydrates that i'm eating at night it's fine to eat carbs at night i feel like that is one of the biggest fitness myths is worrying about eating carbs at night it's fine i just always tell clients try not to eat a super heavy meal meaning something that makes you feel so full you're uncomfortable later in the evening because you want to get really good rest at night and so being overly full can cause sleep disruption and that's what you want to avoid so by no means am i concerned about my carbohydrate intake at night this is just because i enjoy salads they're super fresh and filling without feeling so heavy on my stomach before bed so let's go make some dinner this recipe is such a great change up from chicken so i think you guys are really going to love it so you're going to take your salmon filet brush both sides with a little bit of olive oil and then season it however you like i'm using trader joe's citrus and garlic seasoning if you haven't tried that or the chili lime seasoning on your salmon you have got to do that but then i'll just pop this in my oven at 425 degrees for 15 minutes and while that's cooking i'm going to assemble my salad usually i just do a bunch of spinach but my spinach kind of looked wilty so i'm using half spinach half romaine and so i'm just going to put this on my plate i don't necessarily measure out my lettuce just because it's lettuce. I'm just going to eat what makes me feel good. And so I love a big hearty plate of lettuce. And then I'm going to top it with some fresh berries. I'm using strawberries and blueberries, about one fourth cup of each. And then I'm also going to top this with some raw walnuts. And then once my fish is out of the oven, I'm just going to put this on top. And I just use a tiny bit of olive oil and a tiny bit of um, balsamic vinegar for my dressing. So it's just me tonight. Brad's working. So I decided to treat myself to a little snack. I'm hungry. I want some sweet so I'm gonna make a small batch of protein chocolate chip cookies they're super easy super delicious made with healthier ingredients so let's make some cookies this small batch protein chocolate chip cookie recipe is so simple. You're just going to be using a few ingredients. You need three tablespoons of coconut sugar and two tablespoons of refined coconut oil. And you're just going to whisk these together like you would butter and brown sugar for a regular chocolate chip cookie. And once you kind of get those together, be patient with it. It's hard for them to come together, but you'll add in an egg and you'll whisk these together until smooth and creamy. And then we're just going to be using a few ingredients for our flour mixture. So you can use what I'm using here or there's some different substitutes that I will kind of talk through, but we're using a tablespoon of tapioca flour and a tablespoon of almond flour. And then we're gonna be using one fourth cup of dried oatmeal, as well as one half teaspoon of baking powder and one fourth teaspoon of baking soda and a pinch of salt. But if you're nut free or you don't have tapioca flour and almond flour, you can use um, another two tablespoons of oat flour. You can use two tablespoons of tapioca flour if you're nut free, but any of those work. And I'll leave that in the description box below so you can kind of see what I'm talking about about different substitutes for flour, but then you'll just add in a scoop of your favorite vanilla protein powder. I'm using First Forms Vegan Protein Powder in the flavor Iced Oatmeal Cookie. It is so good, so highly recommend trying that if you need a dairy-free protein powder. And then I'm just adding in some chopped chocolate. You can do dark chocolate chips, whatever you prefer, but I didn't have any chocolate chips on hand, so I just did some chocolate bars that I had that were dairy-free and sugar-free, and I just chopped those up, threw them in, and then we're gonna bake our cookies at 350 degrees for 10 minutes. All right, friends, that pretty much covers everything in this week's vlog. As always, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like as well as subscribe to my channel so you never miss an update. I'll see you guys next time.